you come home with me if I tell you something that I hope you'll consider good news? There's no such thing on this planet. Oh, well, yes, there is. Just happened this morning. Well, I, I, actually, I just discovered it this morning. Mason, I'm pregnant. My God. You are? Well, you, I know you wouldn't joke about something. When did you find out? This morning. Right. You said that, didn't you? Mary. <laughs> Say it again so I know I'm not dreaming. I'm gonna have a baby. <laughs> You're gonna be a mother? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I, um... Uh... I used to wonder if I'd ever be ready. I never thought I'd be ready. And now in a minute, all the doubts are gone. Like when I knew I wanted to marry you. I'm so glad you're happy. How can I ever give you half of what you've given me? Oh, you're doing it. You're just by reacting like this. I mean, it's so much earlier than we planned, and I, I didn't know how you were going to feel, and I didn't no. know how I felt at no, first. No, no. I don't have any doubts. This is right. Meant to be. Yeah. I love you. More than anything, I want this baby. So do I. With all my heart. I looked for you at the courtroom. You disappeared. Now I know why. You must have been very hungry. Of course, I realize betrayal does create an enormous appetite. I guess so listen to me. I know. Oh, don't let me stop you. I know you have a million things to do. Well, I have one small job for you. It won't take any time at all. What? I want you to pack your bags and get out of our hotel room tonight. Don't be angry with me. How could I be? Well, you've tried every nice way you can think of to get me to leave so you can have your meeting. But I just can't let you go. I can't believe I actually used to doubt your love for me. You've proved it a thousand times over. I'll never be able to repay you, you know that. <sighs> you should have seen me with those books, making it look like I was stealing every penny from you. <laughs> never realized I had such a flair for accounting. I think if I'd known what you were doing, I wouldn't have let you. Risks were too great. It worked, didn't it? They're going to try you for perjury, you know that. Get a good lawyer. David, if I have to go to jail, I'll go, but it won't be for long. I'm not facing what you face. They would have put you away forever. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. Don't, don't say it, don't even think it. spot about dinner I, I i just thought if you didn't have any plans we could talk about kelly I, I mean i've had a lot of ideas about how to get her out of the hospital and get her another doctor i, I thought maybe you had some ideas well i uh i'm not sure off the, off the top of my head you know you were really wonderful the other day getting me in to see her i mean I know you could have lost your job. Even you have a right to see your sister. I think Rawlings was a jerk to try to keep you from her. I'm glad you were there. Forget it. I will not. <laughs> Look, I, I really gotta take off, you know? I don't know if Santana's missed her allergy medicine yet, but she's gonna need it sooner or later. I, I didn't know Santana had allergies. Yeah, they're worse certain times of the year than others, I guess. She's had a real bad time lately. Do you really have to go? Yeah, I do. As much as I'd love to stay and talk about Kelly. I'm 
I'm sorry. You think it's gonna hurt that much less if we don't talk about each other? Look, I know it's gonna be strange, but I still want to be around you. Even if there's no future in it. I'm not so sure I believe that anymore. I'm not so sure you do either. I don't suppose you feel any different yet. A little nervous. Well, as you better sit down. <laughs> as soon as you feel any symptoms, I want you to tell me. I don't try to be brave. I, I want to take care of you. Pregnant women don't always get dramatic symptoms, Mason. Sometimes you can go the whole nine months feeling just fine. However, I will try and do, to develop an attack of something or other so that uh, you can coddle me. That's better. And I, uh, I promise that after it's born, you won't ever have to pummel me awake for those two o'clock feedings or mm. changings or whatever. I'll be with you all the way, 50-50. Maybe 40-60 on the changing. 60-40, and I want it in writing. Listen, you sound like a lawyer's wife already. We're not even married yet. Now don't worry about that. Have your annulment before you know it, and we'll be married the same day. It's kind of upsetting to have this happening when I'm, I'm still legally married to Mark. That doesn't change anything. This is our baby. Mark doesn't have anything to say about it. Even if we didn't plan it this way, it'll all work out. Well, I didn't plan to love you, and look how it's working out. And you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> well, this calls for a celebration, don't you think? Let's go have dinner. I'm, I'm not really very hungry. Well, you won't have time to eat. You'll be too busy trying to keep me from standing in my chair and announcing it. No, don't joke about that. It's bad luck to announce these things too soon. Well, you better find a way of shutting me up. Well, how's this? Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Your Honor... Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I trust we can count on your complete discretion. And I hope you realize what you've just witnessed. You've just seen a man find out what life is all about. And from this moment on, he can never, ever be the same again. We've said it's over a million times, but we've never really let ourselves hear it. Because we couldn't lie to ourselves. Because we wanted it deep down to be different. Don't you understand? Don't you understand that it's not something I'm doing? It's not something that you're doing. Every time we try to bring our lives away from each other, all we do is end up back together. You know, it's true. It's been that way since the first day we met. If you start talking about fate, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Cruz, we have loved each other, always. It's been there no matter what we do. You don't understand, I, 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 can't, I have to believe that I can still do what I promised I would do when I got married. Well, I can't believe it's not gonna be hard on you. I mean, there's a lot of things that, that's happened. I felt a lot of guilt when my father was sick. A and then there was the investigation. Cruz, I married a man because I didn't want you to have to cover for me. I loved you too much to do that to you. Now, a kind of love like that, it doesn't just go away. It doesn't die. I know. God help me, I know. I'm sorry, I don't know why I brought you the I can't Express. expect you to stop working for my convenience. Of course they're going to run into each other. Of course they're going to say hello. They're all friends. I'm kidding myself. You know, when asked about cheating on his wife, Paul Newman once said, why go out for hamburger when you can stay home and have steak? You're so good to me. May West once said, Goodness has nothing to do with it. I call him like I feel. Uh, you, you really can't stand around consoling me all night. Didn't you have a call to make? I, yeah. I, yes, I, may I? Uh, of course. 
I have to call up that imbecile Catwell. He had the rug pulled out from under us in court today. Oh. Yeah, may I speak to Catwell, please? Why not? Well, he should be there working all night after what happened today. What, did he leave a number? Great! <laughs> oh, here it is. The biggest case in my entire career. I give it to a guy that's supposed to have the best conviction record in the entire state, and he decides to go on a slump on my time. I can't... Do, you, do you really think that David Laurent will be acquitted now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If Catwell decides to do no work between now and tomorrow. This is only your first case. There'll be others. No. The first one is the one they look at, you see. After that, you've either got them or you play catch-up for the rest of your life. Now is the time to make an impression. Aren't you noticing what I wanted? You ordered it once before. And you paid attention. Yeah. It'll be a hard night for all of us. I guess so. You know, I feel like saying something sloppy and romantic. I'm glad that somebody does. Don't let Cruz make you believe that all this has to do with you. No, I, I was never what he wanted. I, I tried to be, but I... Santana, is Cruz here? No, no, I, I'm sorry. He, Anything I can help you with? Not. I don't think so. I assume this visit is about the uh, Laurent case. I'm keeping you pretty busy, isn't it? I'm an investigator. I do my job. I already told Cruz that running down more information on that Carlisle woman is counterproductive. You're entitled to your opinion. What's he got you doing now, Hardy? Santana, if Cruz calls in, tell him I was here and give him this number. I ask you a question. Cruz will let you in on anything if he thinks it's relevant. Um, I think Cruz is still at the Orient Express. You can call him from here if you want. Thank you, Santana. Mm -hmm. Orient Express. No, oh, is uh, Cruz Castillo there, please? Yes, he is. One moment, please. Inspector Castillo? Excuse me. You have a phone. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Cruz. It's Nick. I've had a very productive afternoon. You got some more on Sheila? Bingo. Where are you, Nicky? I'm at your place. Santana told me I might catch you at the uh, restaurant. Well, I'm glad you called. I'll be right there. Well, wait a minute. I think if you... It's... <sighs> really, I, I, I gotta go now. That was Nick. I gotta meet him at my place. All right. Listen, I hope that when we talked before, I didn't make it hard on you. But I meant everything I said. I know you did, Eden. I just wish I had your faith. You do. You just can't see it yet. Look, I know you gotta go. I gotta go. Take care of yourself. You too. Yeah. I had to show that there were others who had an opportunity and a motive. I wasn't accusing Lionel directly. You're going to split hairs because you didn't have him formally beheaded in a public place. Libel and slander are just as damaging by implication. You know that. Augusta, Lionel's friends aren't going to think any differently of him. He's going to need more than friends now. He needs people who will do business with him, who will trust him. Cece took everything. Lionel has to start from scratch. Now, how's he supposed to do that after you've made a mockery of him? 
Are you forgetting that you stood up in that courtroom and you said that Lionel was with you? You, you shot me down right in front of everyone and they believed you. What do you want from me? Nothing. Believe me, nothing ever again. You knew that I was just trying to put a doubt into the jury's mind. And yet you leapt to Lionel's defense anyway. All I did was tell the truth. That Lionel was with you? Yes, he was. What are you doing? I love the alterations on this suit since I had it altered, don't you? I think Mrs. Dawes is a wonderful seamstress. I, I didn't realize it was that day. You weren't with Lionel, you were with me. You were sitting on a stool two feet away from me while I was having alterations done and you were giving suggestions. I should have known you'd remember something like that. You knew all the time, didn't you, when I said it in the courtroom. You knew it wasn't the truth. I already felt bad enough. I didn't want to make it any worse for Lionel. Well, you could have. I mean, you're the one who said it was your client's last chance started to open up my mouth, but the words wouldn't come out. I love you. And I love Lionel. And I really hope that I haven't made a big mistake here. Because I really love David, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'm still working on believing that we have each other. You'll always have me, Mason. Don't you mean us? The two of you? Oh, yes, I, I do mean the two of us. You think we'll have a son or a daughter? I don't suppose your home pregnancy test told you that. No. What if it's a boy? A son? Chance not to make all the mistakes my father made with me. Maybe a chance to find out how easy it is to make mistakes without knowing it. But we'll all be learning together. I think the trick's going to be to keep you from indulging every whim. You think it'll look at all like me? I, I mean, ideally, I'd want it to look like you, but if it looked just a little like me, see myself living in somebody else, that must be an amazing feeling. What's wrong? It, it, it's just that all these feelings are so strange and new. I know. I just don't want you to be scared. I don't want you frightened of anything, Mary. Everything's going to be fine. Is it? Of course it is. Why shouldn't it? Lionel, uh, what are you doing with the key? I thought uh, Cece changed the locks in this place. Yeah, he did, but I have a locksmith that works wonders. Now listen, uh, how did that meeting go with Grant Capwell? Well, he's certainly Cece's brother. Uh, Graduated from the same charm school, huh? Yeah. Did he go for the plan about me getting the house back? Lionel, I think he's got it in for CC enough to do almost anything. No, I take that back. He will do anything. That's why I don't think you should trust him automatically. You know? He's a Capwell. Why should I? Well, maybe, maybe you should find another way. I don't think there is a better way. Come on. What is this? <laughs> uh, a bakery. Uh, Whose idea was this? Mrs. Capwell's Cookies. What? There it is, black and white. Mrs. Capwell's Cookies. That's right. Want to make something of it? Ma'am, there's a phone call for you. It's from your husband. You don't have to take it. You know. No, that's all right. I'll... Thank you. Excuse me. Yes, I did. Yes. Hello, Augusta. I haven't had a chance to congratulate your sister on her day in court. Well, Mason, Julia's not one to gloat over her victories at other people's expense, but I'm not shy. Well, I don't think Julia should count her verdicts before they hatch. I mean, Sheila Carlisle may no longer be a motive, but others linger on. Madeline's money, for one. After what happened to Sheila, I don't think there is a doubt in any juror's mind that David was set up. She was out to ruin him from the beginning. Whatever the legal term is for missing the boat, Mason, you did it. What I want to know, Julia, is how you managed to find the records that prove Sheila was trying to push David out of the business. No, no, Mason. I don't have to reveal my sources, you know. No. And you never entered them into evidence, either. There must have been a reason for that. I suppose you'd let me have a look at them, would you? And you have them with you? 
You don't have to show him anything, Julia. No, I'd love to. Here you go. Have a look. <clears throat> They're blank pages. You faked them out. I knew the records existed. I just couldn't get my hands on them. Mm-hmm. And Sheila thought they were real. And so she confessed. That's quite a gamble, Julia. Well, apparently it succeeded. Well, some gambles do, some don't. Do you know one gamble a good attorney should never take? She should never gamble that a close personal relationship with a client might be made public knowledge at any minute. No one likes to think an attorney is capable of such extreme prejudice. Why, hello there, David. You come to celebrate or is this a strategy session? A little of both. Well, if I were you, I would go heavy on the strategy and easy on the celebration. Enjoy. Eden, what are you doing all by yourself? I'm having dinner. Well, Mary and I are right over here. Why don't you come join us? Oh, no, no, thanks. I I'm almost done anyway. Seems kind of strange to see you all by yourself. Well, I have to admit, it doesn't really feel right either, but that's something I gotta get used to. Well, I hope not for long. Well, sometimes it's better to be alone if you can't be with the one person you want to be with. I guess that might kind of sound crazy to you. Well, not at all. I know exactly how you feel. Well, I wish it wasn't this way, Mason, but it is. Well, don't give up, Eden. I'm pulling for you. Okay, Cruz, I haven't gotten much out of your friend here, Hartley, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that you got him looking for more on that Carlisle one. So what if I do? Well, <laughs> hasn't she done us enough damage already? I thought it was the purpose of the trial to find the truth. If a piece of it is still missing, it seems to me we ought to find it. Not if the wrong guy gets acquitted. You see, we're the prosecution, Castillo. We're supposed to believe that he's guilty. Everything you've come up with so far has made it look like he's not. Makes me wonder what side you're really on. My job, as I understand it, is to present all the evidence. <sighs> well, listen, if you and your sidekick here come up with any evidence that actually <laughs> helps our case, I'll be in my office waiting for your call, but don't worry. I won't hold my breath. Good night. Good night. How are you doing? I've been better. Where's Brandon? He's not in bed yet, is he? No, he's he's with Mama tonight. It's just as well because I've got a headache. Which reminds me. Gina gave me these to give to you, said that you'd left them someplace. Oh, yeah. I, I was wondering where these were. Maybe I have to take one now. Nikki, I'm sorry. You've been waiting long. No problem. What do you got? I don't know the talk to the P.I. who tried to stick David with those phony pictures. Marty Whitmore? Right. Well, with another little friendly persuasion, he came up with some pictures that he didn't think were too interesting. But I did. One is of Sheila Carlisle, alone. What about it? Well, she happens to be standing in front of a newspaper stand right here in Santa Barbara. You know the one that's on the corner of uh, Douglas and Real? Yeah. Right. Well, I enlarged the picture, hoping that we'd be able to find a date on one of the photographs. And by golly, we did. By golly, indeed. That's the very same day. Right. Now, Sheila told Mason that she was in Europe. The day that Madeline was killed. Uh -huh. That means that she had the motive and the opportunity. So if had she wanted to knock off both Madeline and David, she could have killed the one and tried to frame the other for the murder. That's... I had the same thought, too. Yeah. Well, before we confront her with this, I think we should show it to the district attorney. You know, I hate to say this about someone whose job it is to find the truth, but he's not going to be very happy about this. You're telling me. Are, are you leaving again? Yeah, I have to. This could change the course of the whole trial. Well, then I'm going out, too. I don't want to stay home alone again for the hundredth time. No, wait a second, darling. This will only take a No, it, it really doesn't matter how long Sometimes. it takes. Uh, you could stay out all night if you want to. Please don't. Good night, Nick. Good night, Cruz. See you around sometime.
Yeah, well, I, you know, I, she's upset with me. I've uh, been putting in a lot of overtime, and, uh, you know, it's, I'm leaving her alone. It's the job. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Can I ask you something just for the sake of curiosity? When you got here, was Timmons already here? Yeah, he was already here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Gina, what's this all about? Well, it's only temporary until I get my own shop. Mm -hmm. I knew the house wasn't being used, so I thought... Well, CC obviously doesn't know that you're here. Oh, no, not yet. Huh. But Santana has threatened to tell him. And he's already furious because I'm using the Capwell family name as my trademark. But it's not fair. All I'm trying to do is support myself. I'm not hurting anybody. Well, of course you're not. This is terrific what you're doing here. I mean, you are a living tribute to the free enterprise system, aren't you? Hmm? Are you trying to make fun of me? What? Hmm? I'm not making fun of you. I think it's a wonderful business. Uh, have you actually sold anything? Look at all these orders I've got here. Hmm? Yeah. What I did was I took free samples around to all these markets and restaurants, and I got all these requests. That's why I've been here at night baking cookies. But I don't see how I'm going to fill them all. I don't even have a kitchen. How big a kitchen you need? I don't need a big one. I just need an oven that works. Mm -hmm. Why? Do you know what I might be able to use? I might just have one in mind, yeah. Huh? Really? Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. You'd really be willing to help me? Uh, help Mrs. Capwell's cookies? Well, I have to admit, uh, Brick, that the lure mm -hmm. is supporting a business that CC obviously is going to hate. Ah, eh? ah. Listen, Gina, um, if you can make doing some cramped quarters on my boat, you may just have yourself a cookie factory. All right, I accept. That's oh. a wonderful. Thank oh. you so much. Oh, yeah. All I need is five thousand dollars, and I'll start moving everything in tonight. Oh, what? All you need is what? Well, I've been looking for an investor. Just five thousand dollars. I need that to get the business going. And no one else has shown much enthusiasm until I talked to you. I don't know why I didn't come to Lionel first. I, I don't know, Gina. I don't oh no, know. really, please. You won't regret it. Look at all these orders I've got. I I'll pay you back as soon as I start turning a profit. Please give me the money. You won't regret it, I promise. Okay, Gina, we'll think about it. I'm going to start packing right now. Uh, where are you going to get $5,000? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'll have to borrow it. Now. <laughs> From whom? From whom? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, maybe we'd better go back and talk to Grant Capwell again. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe he could get interested. See, uh, uh. we can just hope that he hates Cece as much as we think he does. Thank you. You're welcome. What did Mark want? Oh, just tying up loose ends. We had a, a joint bank account and he wanted to know where to send my share. He didn't try to pressure you into coming back, did he? No, nothing like that. I guess he finally realizes it's a lost cause. About time. Yeah. Good thing he doesn't know about the baby. All that time spent trying to consummate the marriage, not being able to, and then when he finally was, you were already in love with me. I know he wanted to give you a child. See you pregnant, that would be too painful. Listen to me. I'm feeling so benevolent, I can even sympathize with Mark. This fatherhood stuff's turning me to mush. I hope you'll forgive me. I'll try to adjust. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Gets everybody all excited, but what does it prove? That Sheila Carlisle was lying about where she was that day? Everybody knows that she's capable of lying. This is nothing what are you to saying? What are you saying? Are you saying she's not capable? She couldn't no. have killed me? I'm saying that David Laurent is the killer. All this little testament to bureaucracy does is blur the issue. Man, if she was in town the day of the murder, that is relevant. I'm sorry, and the jury has got to know about it. Well, fine. I'll enter it as evidence. Good. Shall I take it down to the clerk? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll handle it. I think he's out today anyway. I'll, uh, I'll have it labeled the print and the negative first thing in the morning. Well, that's very conscientious of you. Well, you've given me no choice, have you? I mean, once things come out, I can't withhold them, can I? You could do me a little favor in return, though. What's that? Well, I have, uh this warrant for perjury to be served to Sheila Carlisle. I wish you'd do the honors. I wish you'd get somebody else to do the honors. I need to get home at a decent hour tonight. Why is that? I haven't been able to spend much time with my wife lately. And you think you have the district attorney's office to blame for I'm not blaming anybody for it, man. I'm just saying I'd like to spend a little time with her. That's all. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> you know, I think you should have thought of that before now. What does that mean? 
You've been spending quite a bit of time at my house. When I have come to your house, it was always because I was invited. All I did was accept. Look, there's something that you should know. I meant to bring it up earlier. What is it? Tell your father he ought to go over and investigate the Lockridge house. It's been occupied without permission. Who's there? Dina, she's using it to make cookies. What? <laughs> I'm serious. She's starting some crazy business and she's working out of that house. Just what exactly are you trying to do, Santana? Look, Gina, I told you that I was going to let the Capwells know what was happening. You have no business using that house for your cookies or anything else. I'm not doing anything in that house. Will you stop it? I saw you there. I don't know what you're talking about. You had equipment there and everything else. The place was a mess. Eden, go over there and look for yourself. Go over there and look in the living room. She, she had the whole place turned upside down. Are you sure you're all right? I know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to go over there and take a look, Eden, be my guest. As a matter of fact, I'll go with you. I'd love to know what Santana's you babbling about. You're not going to bluff yourself out of this one. Go tell Cece. They'll handle it. I'm getting a little worried about her. It's not just a sudden tendency to make things up. She's acting strange in a lot of different ways. Gina, you've never liked Santana. Why should you start now? It has nothing to do with liking her or not liking her. It has to do with Brandon. I'm worried about him. It's not good for him to see his new mother looking like this and acting like that. Something's not right. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you haven't seen her in here with that new district attorney. I feel sorry for Cruz the way she's flaunting it all over town. Not that it breaks your heart that she's throwing herself at other Look, men. Santana doesn't throw herself at people. She's not that kind of a person. Well, she didn't used to be. But she didn't used to be bitter and angry either. Look at her over there. Sitting there all by herself? Why isn't she at home with her family? Something is wrong here. And Cruz is the one who's going to get hurt, Eden. Don't Capuel, Lionel Le Creech. Grant, I've heard a lot about you. So, this is what you're trying to get back. My home. Mm -hmm. And this is your son, I hear. Yours and Sophia Montes. That's right. While well, she was still married to my brother. That must have been a bitter pill to swallow. Not only does he find out his wife had an affair, but the son he touted as the second coming turns out to be the son of some circus freaks. No, Mr. Capo, my, my parents weren't circus freaks. No. I don't ever say that again. Now, Brick, I'm, I'm sure that Grant didn't mean that. Uh, had he ever met the Wallaces, I'm sure he would know they're very fine people. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you'd know a fine person if he fell on one. If you want to do business with him, I wish you luck. Good day, gentlemen. He's a proud man. Nothing wrong with that, huh? It's just as well he's gone. What we have to discuss doesn't really have anything to do with him, does it? No, it doesn't. Just to do with your brother, Cece. It's pure and simple. It certainly is. The way I understand it, all I have to do is sell him down the river. Got to call them back to the stand then if your sister lied to give lionel an alibi not unless we have to i don't want to throw suspicion on lionel, lionel again if our case can survive without it didn't you hear what mason said it's not over yet i'm telling you we're gonna need all the help we can get hi nick what's up something you're going to like a lot we've got ourselves another suspect and photos to back it up too wish i could tell you more Have you been to see Kelly? No, I wish I hadn't, but yes, I, I saw her. Well, what happened? She became terrified, started screaming. I didn't know what to do. I remind her of everything that she wants to forget. I'm sorry, but I, I bet you anything that's all going to change. When? How long? Somehow I have to stop always thinking of Kelly as being in my future. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I've got to try. 
Well, if you need to talk to someone, I'm always here for you. Thanks. Listen, I gotta be going. You know where you can get in touch with me. Yes, thank you. All right. Fred. Bye. Bye. I wish you'd tell us what the evidence is. It sounds very exciting. I'm sorry, Julia. I don't trust these 11th hour discoveries. I'm more interested in making the best of the case we've already built, like recalling Lionel Lockridge. You already know how I feel about that. Look, can we, can we just go to my hotel and discuss this? I don't want to dissect my life in front of everybody. Please. What are you looking at? Maybe you should lighten up on the vodka, sweetheart. It's not vodka, it's water. Sure. Hello, Angel. Hi, it's Gina. You know, that stuff you gave me was really great. Uh, I was wondering, though, is it habit forming? Oh, it is. I guess I better be careful with it then, huh? All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I really don't. What? Why you come here, of all places? Do you like torturing yourself? Watching your husband's lover all the time? Will you shut up, Gina? Or are you just waiting for Cruz to walk in and thinking maybe you can catch them together? I can't catch them because there's nothing to catch. Besides, that's not why I'm here. Oh, really? Trying to get a little action on the outside, huh? Fight fire with fire? Well, I don't blame you, honey. Will you just go bother somebody else? What am I doing here? I should be home. I should be home with my husband. Oh. James, I'm looking for my wife. You know she's here by any chance? I haven't seen her, Inspector. Thanks. office? Now, don't move. Stay there. I hope I'm a good father, Mary. Oh, you're gonna be a wonderful father. So much at stake now. another person we don't even know. Isn't that amazing? Love somebody you don't even know yet. I think the jury is on our side now. And I think you should believe that too. Is that the only reason you came over here to tell me that, huh? We promised we'd wait one more day. I can't. Now that I... Now we're seeing real hope that I might be free. I want you more than ever. <laughs> feel like I can finally give to you without holding back. One more day and we'll have all the time we want. Julie, really, I'm as close as I've ever been to believing that. But what if something happens? What if this is the last chance we get to be together? I couldn't bear that. Hello? I've been arrested for perjury. So soon? I'm at the police station now. They said I could have one call, so I called you. But there's nothing that... I'm not asking you to do anything, darling. I just wanted you to know where I was. That's all. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be out on bail by tomorrow's court session. How? Just don't worry. Fine. 
Look for me in court. I will. I love you, David. Always remember that. Good night. Thanks again. Who was that? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Except right now. For Santana, I don't suppose she's been back here. Uh, yeah, she was here, but I, I guess she left. Really? Which? Never mind. She was alone, if you're wondering. Yes, I was wondering. You know, Cruz, I, I got to thinking a lot about what we talked about. About the promises that you say you want to keep to Santana. And I realized something. What? Well, now that my father has turned Brandon over to Santana legally, there's really no reason for you to be married anymore. Even I mean, the conditions that existed when you took your vows don't exist now. You know what that means to me? It means that if, if something happens to me in the line of duty, Santana doesn't have to worry about losing her son. That's all it means. It's no small thing what you gave Santana. You gave her something she's wanted her whole life. But she's got it. Don't you think you deserve some happiness in your life? Who says I'm not happy? I do. And I want to make you happy. I want to love you again. On any terms, I don't care. I just want you back.